Gamers Biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming, and we are back for part two on how to build a treehouse farmhouse in Minecraft. For the that we're going to go ahead and need is jungle wood uh, planks, um, polished andesite, stone bricks, chiseled stone brick, um, which is, I accidentally grabbed the monster egg, but it doesn't matter, it's just chiseled stone brick, glass pane, jungle wood slab, dark oak door, and jungle wood. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to mark out the perimeter of this entire thing. So what I want to do is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on the 6th block we, well, let's start this one. So on the 7th block we'll go 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, so it's a 5 blocks long. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. One, two, three, four, five, and then right here in the middle between it, we're just going to connect this to the tree to make sure it connects. Then we're going to go one, two, one, one, two, and then five again. So one, two, three, four, five, and in the middle of the fifth one, we're just going to go ahead and mark it to the tree. Then we're going to go one, two, one, one, two, one. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, and then the middle of the tree, or middle of the five, we're just going to connect it to the tree. And one, two, three, one, two, and there we go. So now we have a circle. Now connecting it to the tree actually really did not do anything at all. The fact of connecting it to the tree is just to make sure that it uh, is a perfect circle, and it was, so, and that's really all that mattered. That was what it was for and that's all it was really intended to be. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab jungle wood and we're gonna break off the corners of the five blocks long like so. We're gonna break off the middle one right here, break off the corner on the five, and on the five, break the middle, break the middle one, break the five on each end, keep going around and doing the same pattern that I am doing all the way around the entire build and once you got that, this is what it should look like when you guys fly up. I'm just going to go in a circle for y'all. Okay, then what I want you guys to go ahead and do is, I want you guys to break here and here. So next to the fives, that's where we're going to break. And there we go. So now the rest of this can just be deleted, so the jungle wood planks can all be removed from here on out. Oops, I don't mean to do that. But don't remove the jungle wood logs, because that would be bad. Keep accidentally deleting them. Maybe it'll be easier to do it from the inside. Okay. Now that that is all done, what we're going to go ahead and do is place andersite next to the twos and I'll fly up and show you guys from an aerial view um, after I am done doing all this. Okay, so this is what it should look like from the sky. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is place one on each end right here and oh, not in the middle but only on the ends. Now this is going to be a pretty big uh, house, if you guys can't tell already, by uh, how big it is and how much land it actually takes up. Go ahead and grab jungle wood logs. We're going to place them three blocks high, all the way around the entire build. Oops. just going to keep doing this all the way around the entire build, making this three blocks high. Oops, missed one. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is take jungle wood planks and place that on top of each one, making it to four blocks high. And there we go. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is just connect these together. So right above it, see how um, it was before? So it's five, then two, then one, then two, then five. We're gonna continue that pattern and keep it going. There we go, there's another one here, and here, and here. 
Oh, that one was actually off, so that one shouldn't be there. It should be there. Oops, wrong block. And uh, this is another good way to make sure that it's all together too. So these should be sticking out on the outside. Just I'm just double checking my work, and it is. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is get the polished andersite and place it in the corners here. I'm going to place it up here and here so it looks like that. And I'm going to keep on placing these in the corners all the way around the entire build. It's a fairly simple house design. Um, and it's not very hard at all. But what I wanted to do was make sure it looked jungly and like it would fit in the jungle when you guys have this built in the jungle. So then what we're going to go ahead and do is put chiseled stone in between the and polished andersite all the way around the entire build. Oh, missed. And there we go. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is place glass panes in between all of these here, except for one of them, and that will be the door to get inside of the treehouse, so or get to the farm, which I'm going to choose to be this one. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get a um, door. Oh, we already have the door. Now what we need is, what is it called? We need a type of stairs. It's this one, stone brick stairs. I'm, I apologize. We're going to place them upside down here, and I'm going to come on the inside of the build. Actually, I won't do that right now because of the fact that I got her put in the floor. But um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is place one upside down, one forward facing like so, next to the windows. So there and there. And here and here. So now that that is all done, what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is dig out the whole interior of the build before we go any further, removing all the dirt, and then we're going to replace it with our flooring. I advise to use um, jungle wood, but it doesn't really matter what you guys use, and you guys really could just leave it dirt if you guys wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever makes you guys happy and whatever block you guys would prefer to use or what you guys have available. Okay, I'm almost done digging this all out. And here, and actually let me place that back because I don't want to make sure that I only build in the floor and that's it. And I'm just going to go back and forth building in my floor. Oops. And once you guys have the floor built in, then we'll go ahead and do the ceiling to this. And we'll also build the way to get up into the uh, tree house, uh, farmhouse. So that way you guys can go ahead and do that without, you know, worrying about getting hurt or falling out. And, uh, how to get up there because right now there is no way to get up here besides um, just flying and if you guys are on survival that's not gonna work so we have to make sure that there is a trap door and a ladder system to uh, get up here we are almost done ha about a quarter to go So now that that is all done, what we're going to go ahead and do now is put on the roof. So we're going to get our jungle wood slabs and we're going to place them like so, all the way around the entire roof, working our way up to the center. Now this treehouse is not uh, directly centered and you guys will notice it if you guys fly above it. But other than that, it is as close to being as centered as possible because if not, you would have to use even numbers and I used odd numbers for this treehouse to give you guys a bigger farmhouse due to the fact that it is a farmhouse uh, you guys are going to need a lot of room for storage and that's another reason why I did this so as you guys can see I'm just connecting this all together I'm not breaking anything I'm just making it go weave in and out and I'm taking my time if you guys are having any difficulties make sure you guys pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready there we go oops I fell down halfway done a little bit more than halfway about a quarter to go and here and here and then let me get up here 
here and there. So that's what it should look like from the roof and I'll go around nice and slow to show you guys. So if you guys don't have any of this make sure you guys pause the video here while I'm going around to make sure that your roof looks like this so far. Okay, so now what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is now trace out the inside of the build without connecting the planks together so it should look like this when we're going around. So it should be three, two, two, and then three to finish off the pattern. So that's how that should look. Then what we're gonna do is get the slabs and we are gonna go ahead and fill this in now, like so, all the way around the entire build. And just keep it connected without breaking the connection points. Or um, just now halfway done with it. There we go. Let's go ahead and connect this one up here and here, and I'll work my way to here. Then the last thing to do is just go ahead and fill in the rest of it with jungle planks. And there we go. So now that, that is all done, uh, what we can go ahead and do now is put on the dark oak door or whatever door you guys would like to use. I'm going to place it on the inside of the build like so. So as you guys can tell, it's kind of dark up in here. So we're going to go ahead and fix that now. Now you guys can do um, lighting. So let's get torches for it. And let's go ahead and get fence posts. We're going to use jungle fence posts. Let's get sea lanterns if you guys have it. Again, you, these are optional things. We need a trap door. We need a ladder. We need jungle leaves. And that is it. So it doesn't really matter where you pick your guys' trap door. When you guys break the hole, make sure you guys place the trap door right here. And then so that way when you guys are walking it, it's flat. Now the best part about this is make sure that when you guys go ahead and um, build your guys treehouse, you guys remember to shut the trap door because you might fall down and die. Because remember this treehouse is pretty high up and without any armor or uh, good boots you might, you actually might go splat. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to place torches in the corners right here and here on all of these. On the one corner and I'm gonna place one above each window and the door sections so that way it's pretty lit up and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna build a um, part here wait can I go here I want to go one off but I don't know yeah it'll work if I do it see I'm going one block off of the middle now some parts of this may not like I said it doesn't really match up so don't really uh, worry it's just now that it is here so there you guys go you got some sea lanterns up in here to make it brighter and a little bit more decoration um, we don't need this or this and now it's time to go ahead and build the roof or the uh, tops of the trees so what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is I'm going to shave off the top here to make it a little bit more uh, flat I'm going to go ahead and place three blocks out like so on each end all the way around and you guys are going to do this to each of the trees now again you guys do not have to do this if you guys don't want to because um i know that when you guys go to plant anything it will go ahead and mess up the lighting so you might have your plants might grow a little bit slower or they might not grow at all but i have not tested that so then we're going to go ahead and just keep going to work on our way around and i'll show you guys how to do this again I'm going to show you guys how to do this all the way around on each one. Well, I'll show you guys one more time. And then I'll place four in here and then two coming off each one to make it look like the uh, medical symbol, the plus symbol. There you guys go. And that's what it should look like from there. Now I'll do it over here again. Again, shave off the top layer here. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, 
one, two, three, there we go. So you should have this. Then we're gonna place a V in each one like that, going all the way around, so placing our V, so it's another three blocks. Once the V is made, it should look something like this. Then we're just gonna go ahead and place more blocks connecting it together all the way around the entire build to make it more fluffy and larger. Now that the base is done, we're gonna go ahead and place two blocks on top and then turn that into a plus symbol all the way around and I'll fly up and show you again. So this is how that looks. Again guys, I'll show you guys how to do it again. So trim off the excess, go one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. Place a V in each corner play by placing three blocks. Once that's done, it should look something like this. Then go ahead and place this all the way around the entire build. As you guys can see, that's the base. Place one, two, one, two, and then just go all the way around making the plus symbol. And there you guys go. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on my chat. Now, sorry if there's a bunch of people on chatting, so I'm gonna do slash slash wand. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get just any block. So again, make sure you guys do that all the way around your guys' entire tree. And all I need to do is go like this to here. And to over here, go one, two, and then up by one, and just place that. And I'll just stick right here. I'll do slash slash copy. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just gonna come over here and do the same thing by just doing slash slash paste. And it should line up. And it did. And I think this one should line up as well. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. There we go. So then all my trees are done, and this is what it should look like, guys, when you guys are all done. Oh. And uh, make sure that you guys can really plant whatever you want up here. I'm not going to plant anything currently. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to kind of cheat and put in wheat and make it like that. Now, for watering, you guys can water it, and the best way to water it is just randomly punch a couple holes on the bottom. Like, let me get a water bucket not a bottle, a water bucket. And like, I'll break right here and I'll place that there. And then underneath what I'll do is I'll get like a really dark piece of wood. So dark um, wood slab and it makes it easier because it kind of matches the dirt. And then I come underneath and I place it like that to cover it and see how it's really not that noticeable, kind of just fades away. And then I have my water and the wheat will grow. So that's how I do it. Again, you guys could do it however you guys would prefer. But um, you guys don't even have to use water, it will grow. It just means that it might trample. So just be careful of that. So don't walk around on it and stuff. Also, you guys could put up a gate all the way around this entire thing, fill it up with some uh, grass and go ahead and uh, have like a different types of farms in each one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always guys, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.